Hi, my name is Julia Gonzalez and I welcome you to my channel. If you've never been here before, I love to travel to experience new cultures and amazingly delicious foods. If you've been following along the last few weeks, you know I've been bringing you travel videos from Lima, Peru. But since I've been back home, I've been craving that amazing ceviche. So I thought it would be fun to do a video on the best ceviche in Miami. So first we're gonna head over to Okami, owned by William Levy, a Cuban actor. Then I'll take you over to Ceviche 105, owned by Juan Chapoco, a famous chef born and raised in Lima. Last but not least, I'll take you to Lamar by Gaston Acurio, Peru's most famous chef. So join me. If you aren't familiar with Miami summers, every day like clockwork, we get thunderstorms between 2 and 4 p.m. And of course, it happened to us today. But that doesn't dampen my spirit. I'm gonna go enjoy some ceviche. Located in the design district of Miami, Okami is known for fusing Japanese techniques with Peruvian flavors. Infusing the Japanese techniques with Peruvian flavors is also called Nikkei cuisine and is a cooking style that dates back to the turn of the century. So it looks like we have the red onions. This is tuna instead of the white fish. So that's different than the onion. We have some avocado um, and some sweet potatoes that are different. Peruvian ceviche usually has the boiled sweet potato versus these are kind of cooked with some sweetening. got like a little bit of kick to it. The leche de tigre gives it like some, some kick, some spice to it. And you can see there's like some spices in it. Ooh, okay. Hello. Mm. Mm. So this is really good, but it's really different than what I'm used to with the Peruvian ceviche. Using the um, tuna instead and then you're getting like some kind of like soy sauce um, like a soy sauce kick instead of that fresh like lime kick that you usually get with Peruvian ceviche so, but it's still very good now over to ceviche 105 they have three different locations, but we headed to their downtown Miami hotspot. Ceviche 105 is known for their vast selection of creative and fresh ceviches, among other traditional dishes. But of course, I'm on the hunt for the best ceviche, so that's what I'll be having. Love the taste. Yeah, and I like how they parade. I, I like a little bit more of the sweet potato, to be honest, but the puree is delicious. The, the leche de tigre is very fresh, full of lime. Um, not 
not really any spice to it. So it's delicious. And last but not least, we head down to the Biscayne Bay in Brickle to taste Lamar. should probably review, right? I swear, the only way to beat the heat in the summer in South Florida is by the pool or eating fresh ceviche. So that reminds me, who had the best ceviche in Miami? So when I initially set out on this mission, I had one major criteria and that was, is this ceviche just as good as what I had in Peru. So first up, Okami. Remember, that was the restaurant that used the Nikai technique. I have to say, I'm gonna have to disqualify them from this competition. It's just not apples to apples. It's a completely different technique, uh, completely different taste, and it did not remind me of anything in Peru. So. While the dish was very good, and I would recommend eating there, it just wasn't right for what I was doing here today. Next up, Ceviche 105. Was the dish as good as what I had in Peru? I'd have to say no. And only because the fish and liche di tigre um, just didn't have the flavors, that, that punch that I was used to in Peru. However, the price point of $16.95 and the beautiful aesthetics of the restaurant, like it's a fun night out. Like go, have the drinks, have some pisco sours, have some fresh ceviche, it's a great place. Lastly, Lamar. So was the dish as good as what I had in Peru? Yes, they, they nailed it. The Liche de Tegre was amazing it had so many flavors it was like bursting with flavors and spice and it's thick and it was amazing so if there was a silly gringa stamp of approval they would get it for sure however guys let me just remind you i'm a silly gringa i really have you know no experience it cooking anything and I'm just kind of eating my way through life and yes I was just in Peru so that's why I set off on this little mission. In the end it makes me miss Peru and I can't wait to go back. Until then. That concludes this week's video. If you liked this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button for alerts on new videos and until next time go out and explore. There's a whole world you deserve to see. It's not by a Pepsi.